Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you had a good weekend, and thanks for tuning in to the Tiger TV Sports Minute. I'm Jared Joseph. The LSU Tigers baseball team hosted the Fordham Rams this weekend for a three-game series. The Tigers won the series 3-0 with dominating 12-1 and 51 wins Friday night and Saturday afternoon, respectively. However, the Rams tried to spoil the Tigers' sweep during the Saturday night doubleheader game. LSU led the game 2-0 after the first, but the Rams took a 4-3 lead in the fifth inning with three hits in that stretch. The Rams then pushed their lead to 7-3 before LSU came back to win the game 10-7 with seven hits in the seventh inning. The Tigers' record is now 9-2, and they're ranked seventh nationally. Switching over to basketball, LSU's men's team lost to the 22nd-ranked Kentucky Wildcats Saturday afternoon. The final score was 94-77, which means the Tigers finished with the same conference record last year at 11-7. However, the overall record is worse this year at 18-13 compared to 22-11 the previous season. The Tigers are the fourth seed in the SEC tournament and will get one of the four double buys with Texas A&M, Kentucky, and Carolina getting the others. Lastly, in LSU sports, the Lady Tigers' fourth-ranked gymnastics team hosted the third-ranked Alabama team Friday night. LSU won the meet with a score 197.925 to Bama's 196.225. This is the third consecutive week the Lady Tigers scored a season high, and it was in front of a record crowd of almost 13,300. They are now 10-2 overall with the league-best 6-1 record against SEC opponents and have moved up to third in national ranking. We had a great way to end senior night for the purple and gold. The last game of the regular season is this Saturday in Denton, Texas against Texas, Oregon, and New Hampshire. Now let's talk about basketball one more time, but at the professional level. In case you haven't heard, the Los Angeles Lakers beat the Golden State Warriors yesterday 112-95. to Now this box score is surprising enough, but the bigger story is that the Lakers performed the biggest upset in NBA regular season history. It was the first time a team with a sub-200 winning percentage, LA at 190, beat a team with a winning percentage in the 900s, the Warriors at 917. It was the biggest win percentage differential in NBA history. The Sasha just didn't fall for the Splash Brothers during the game. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson combined for 1 for 18 from three-point range, and as a team, the Warriors were just 4 for 30 from behind the arc. The Warriors couldn't overcome their third highest deficit in the fourth quarter, down 11 points, but are still on pace to break the Bulls' regular season record. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week.